the Isha Hunters Chase is next. An even smaller field for this one, I think. It's two mile one furlongs this time. Hunter Chase for five yards upwards, not to 100 these, I think. Top one, Batonia Hughes for Ryan Costello. Pearly King, Martin Leland, Savinian Seasons, Ryan Costello. Post Footsie, Thomas Rogers and Sarka, Martin Leland. So five horses, three trainers, and... The rain, I think, is still just about falling as we take an aerial sweep of the course. Called in and away. And Sarka. Oh, we got to run this one in. <laughs> the second week running, we had a race start off in fast forward mode. So, yes, they've got themselves sorted in time for the jump in. They're already over the first, and I've got to keep up because I'm still. Off a furlong behind everybody else because I wasn't ready for that. Anyway, Sarka's in the lead by about three lengths to Pearly King in second. And then Post Footsie in third. Batania, who's his next. And then Civilian Seasons, who did his best to get rid of the jockey there. Civilian Seasons, who's failed to complete the course more times than it's got round so far this season. With just two weeks to go, isn't going to put that much better old than I thought. But anyway, Sarka racing uphill. And... Past the winning post then with a complete circuit to go. We are still at Sandown. We just had that 0-90 race which wasn't a hunter's chase. This is a 0-100 that is. And Saga is in the lead. By about seven lengths. So post Footsie in second. Pearly King is third. And Batania Hoos. And finally somewhere Civilian Seasons. So they're already well strung out there. Saka setting a pretty strong pace. But she does tend to wall up a fence or two. So there's no guarantee she'll still have a jockey on her back by the time she gets past the winning post. And racing now this excruciatingly long run between the fence that will be the last on the next circuit and the fence that is the first on this circuit. And it's Saka. Well clear. By a good six lengths to post footsie in second. Tonya Hughes is next. That's a strange name to say. I don't know why it just never comes out right. Then Pearly King as they finally get to this door. They can just see Civilian Seasons poking his head in a shot just in time as they get over that one. And they'll race now towards this next one which is a ditch. And Saka is clear of Batonia Hughes who's second. And safely over that one as well with Post Footsie third and Pearly King fourth. I think we can probably forget about Civilian Seasons. Unless the others all fall over. They're going to race down towards the railway fences now then. Jumping is key. You need to take the first one right. Civilian season is actually beginning to make a bit of ground at the back. As they get over the railways. And all safely over all three of them. They're racing down towards the pond now then. With Sarker in the lead from Batonia who's in second. And a gap of six or seven lengths to Pearly King and Post Footsie. And another gap of some distance to civilian season so racing towards the pond fence then now with just three more to jump and Sarka on the inside of Batonia Hoos with Pearly King and Post Footsie disputing third and they're both getting a little bit closer to this leading pair as they take the pond really good jump by Sarka got away from it well and has suddenly found herself four or five lengths clear of Batonia Hoos who's got a lot more weight now as they race down towards the straight and the final two fences in there and Sarka's in the lead, but Tonya Hughes is doing his best to try and close. Then comes Post Footsie over the second lesson, and that's where Sarka makes a customary mistake. And that allows Batonia Hughes to take it up. Post Footsie's back in third. Here's the final fence. Oh, and he's gone! Wouldn't you believe it? Batonia Hughes crashes out of the final fence just as he looked like he got the race at his mercy. And now racing up towards the line, Sarka has been left in the lead despite her mistake at the second last. He's got to take it. Sarka wins it. Post Footsie's second, Pearly King third, and all the way back to Sylvanian Seasons. He was fourth. And Batonia Hughes must have well, it's been all over the winner, really. After he jumped that final, well, he didn't jump the final fence, after he jumped the second last and went into the lead but Sarka has taken it somewhat fortuitously I would have to admit and let's take a look at the connections then for that one and it's a win for Sarka for Martin Lidham post footsie for Thomas Rogers was second Pearly King for Martin Lidham was third and Civilian Seasons finished today in fourth place for Ryan Costello